Damn it. All right, I think that's decent. I'm gonna go all right there. <clears throat> I got eggs, man. So I just got done with a workout. I got eggs, man. At, at what point do we start being transparent with our friends? At what point do we stop looking for the laughs and you know start looking for some help or like looking for a hand you know looking for a shoulder you know what i'm saying looking at what point do we stop trying to pretend everything is okay and start like getting into like what's really going on at what point do we do that bro I'm having a hard time lately. I ain't gonna lie to you as a as a friend to a lot of friends to two different friend groups, man. I'm having a it's I'm at the point where just based on like I don't know the shit that I've been learning, the shit that I've been watching, looking at and everything. I I really am just starting to see that a lot of people even including myself for just dealing with a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of shit that is honestly a lot to deal with when you by yourself, bro. Or when you feel or when you feel like you by yourself. I'm at the point now to where it's like, man, I don't even wanna I don't wanna laugh with people. I don't wanna I don't wanna joke. Not until we can kind of get to I don't know, man. Get to a point where I don't know. I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm trying to get at with this video, man. I'm past the point where we just hanging out, shooting the shit, talking about sports, talking about I don't know music, talking about just bull, whatever, man. Talking about bullshit when this when it's real shit going on out here and I ain't even just talking about it in the world I'm talking about what ourselves like what, what do I look like you know what I'm saying chatting with a nigga about the f upcoming football season or or some or some rap beef or fucking the NBA season when you know what I'm saying you having a, a real deal tough time with your life you know what I'm saying like Life is kicking your ass, you know what I'm saying? Work kicking your ass. Family kicking your ass. Just your, your mental is kicking your ass. Like, what do I look like just being, at what, at what point does, at what point do friendships stop being an escape from that and start being like, start helping you remedy that, start helping you come to a point where you don't have to use a, a friend or friendships for an escape. So where, you know what I'm saying, where your reality is okay, where your reality is fine, where you got a, a plan to deal with shit, where, where, you know what I'm trying to say, man? I, I don't know if it's coming off, you know what I'm saying, the right way, man, but like, I, I just, I'm just kind of over it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I made a video a long time ago called Real Friends, um, and in the video I had like a, I, I, I stated that I never really had a definition for a friend. You know, I was always grateful that that people just fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, I grew up in a pretty big neighborhood, I, relatively speaking, but I had a lot of friends growing up and stuff. And I also, growing up, I inherited my brother's friends. You know what I'm saying? So I was never, I was never not around friends and shit like that. So I never really felt like, I don't know, man. I was just always grateful for him, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I never really challenged the idea of like what a friend actually is, man. And at this point in my life, like I said, man, like anybody can be a an escape for a moment. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, anything can be an escape for a moment. That's what vices are. I feel like at this point, people use friendships as another vice to where and when I say vices I mean like the same way motherfuckers use 
working out as a vice, use alcohol as a vice, drugs as a vice, women as a women as a vice, going to work, chasing the bag as an as as a vice, just that constant moving as a vice. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to realize like damn like that's that's a like friendships or, or friends that can be a that can be just as and it doesn't seem like a deadly vice but anything that keeps you from you know what i'm saying living in your reality and kind of like dealing with your shit or looking in that mirror and like coming face to face with your problems and your issues and and, and get and helping you get like a, a a plan of attack going on I'm, I'm, it's escapism, bro. I'm calling that advice, bro. I'm calling that advice. Some nigga back there, but I ain't tripping. Um, I'm trying to stop saying that word too. Um, but I don't know, man. I ain't trying to make this video too long or nothing like that. I'm trying to get into the mode of making shorter videos and stuff too, but. Yeah, man. I just, I just really want to know, bro. At what point do we, at what point are we, or do we start being transparent? Or what, at what point do we start saying, man, I'm fucked up, bro. And I need some help. I want some help, and like, I feel like that's what friendships are, are, are actually for. Like, at this point in my life, I'm really starting to believe that's what they're for. Like, like I say, bro. Really, anybody. You can go to a club full of strangers and enjoy your life. And enjoy and enjoy the time spent bro but you can't go to those same people and, and 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 get help so I don't really believe that friends are 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 even really meant for like having fun bro I think they are really meant for helping you on your journey bro you know what I mean like I don't know man it, it's yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all I got, I think. If I got any more shit, I'll, I don't know. I'll add on to it, man. But, just want to say, man, if y'all got some, if y'all going through some shit, bro, reach out to your peoples, bro. You got to, if you actually have, like, friends, bro, and they don't know what's going on with you, bro, just, just imagine this, bro. Imagine you going through all your shit, right? everything in life whether it's work whether it's family whether it's personal shit from your past whether it's just self-esteem issues and stuff man and and you end up you know what i'm saying just going through it and doing something drastic to yourself man imagine and, it, and instead of coming to your friends with those issues and those problems you just masking it and and putting on a front and a smile and and everything and them never noticing and then something happens to you and then it's like you leave your friends in like a, in like a shock or a awe. Like, damn, this, damn, bro was always happy. Bro was always smiling. Sis was always good. She was always smiling. I don't, I don't get it. Like, what was going on? You leaving your friends in the dark, bro, when they can actually help, man. And I know it's not as easy. I know it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm also not saying it's impossible. You know what I'm saying? If you're around people, that because trust is a real thing too just because people are friends don't really mean you trust everybody with you know what i'm saying your personal issues or what you got going on so i understand the reluctancy sometimes to, to reach out man but if you got somebody or even if you don't man like i always like i say man there's 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 people willing to help in general bro so but like man if you got a good group of friends around you bro that are willing to laugh with you do dangerous shit with you dumb shit with you bro i'm i'm more more than positive more than sure that they'll sit with you bro they'll cry with you bro they'll you know what i'm saying they'll help you through your shit bro it at worst at, at, at or at best at worst they'll just be there next to you bro you don't even have to say nothing we don't even have to say nothing bro just i know the presence of another person when you going through something is enough to like soothe the soul and just help you out man but um i don't know bruh
I don't know, man. Hope y'all, hope y'all good out there, bro. And if not, reach out, man. Reach out to some people, man. Um, yeah, that's all I got, man. Peace. Oh yeah, and man, make sure you're doing everything in your power that you can possibly do to get yourself out of a funk, bro. You got, we only got, we ain't got that much good weather coming up or we ain't got that much good weather left we in september now but being outside in nature and just getting some sunlight man that should have helped man exercise and that shit helps you know eating better foods you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta give yourself a fighting chance my boy like it's it's easy to fall into a a slump or a depression you know what I'm saying? When you're not motivated or you're not doing nothing, man. If you if you outside moving around, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, I'm in the dark. My bad. If you outside moving around and you you got to give yourself a fighting chance, bro. Got to give yourself a fighting chance, man. I, you know what I'm saying? People people ain't going people ain't going it's hard for people to fight for you if you ain't fighting for yourself, man. That's the first person you gotta you gotta check and you gotta get on board, man. You gotta get yourself on board. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta you gotta convince you first to get out here. It's hard to reach out when you don't even really believe in yourself, bro. So you gotta kinda, you know what I'm saying, get up, get motivated, get active. And getting started is the hardest part, bro. I swear. That's the hardest part. But once you do that, man, you're gonna fall into a Hopefully you'll fall into a, uh, you know, a good rhythm and get shit going, man. Um, but that's all I got, man. Peace out. See y'all niggas next time. Damn, I'm trying to stop saying N-word, man. See y'all next time, bro.